what's up guys welcome to pro realities tv home of the freshest entertainment news and entertaining video kindly hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed and if you've already subscribed i appreciate it peace what's up guys welcome back to pro reality stevie home of the fresh entertainment news and filler and as you always know i bring you nothing but the hottest filler and the filler going around has to do with omale yes omale in terms we all know what recently happened when they went to uganda to go perform for their fans if you don't know who they are the nigerian artists were doing amazing so they decided to go to nigeria at a concert that was organized by event organizers who were ugandans so they went there to go perform for them and after their show they got arrested in saying that yo they didn't follow the COVID-19 protocols you know and it was amazing because it's not like a personal show they went and did over there it was a show that was organized and they were brought in to perform but instead they were rather arrested and detained in the Uganda police custody you know it got a whole lot of people talking like why are they being arrested and all that well a lot of celebrities came through to speak for them somebody like davido you know whiskey burner boy and a whole lot of people decided to come through to you know fight to help release them and finally it ended up getting them released and they're finally home but omale decided to you know speak up and you know say how he's feeling saying that you know the way he was treated over there you know got got him feeling some type of way so so omale decided to hit social media and let his feelings know and this is what he posted he said the past few days have been some of the toughest of my life and i wouldn't wish them on anyone out in a new country with some beautiful people the next thing i'm being treated like a common thief first off i want to thank all the amazing fans that came out to see me in uganda the smiles on your happy faces that evening would be one of my happiest memories also i want to clarify that putting you in harm's way was never my intention before we came out to uganda the show promoters confirmed and proved to us they'd secure all the clearance which of course included COVID-19 compliance at this at that at that point my sole obligations became to make myself available to be taken to the venue and entertain which I did in the full glance and protection of the Uganda police secondly to my mom my family my team my fans friends that I called sleepless night waiting and praying for me I apologize for putting you through all that on the other hand i can't thank you enough i damn near lost my mind but your prayers and messages kept me going thank you so much finally big thank you to everyone for your effort prayers messages tweets damn y'all went hard big shout out to the musicians the celebrities fans again and again my family my friends my label the nigerian mission in uganda the presidency the ministry of foreign affairs madam abike thank you all so much have put this behind me and back to what i know how to do best when africa omale is home love omale so that's why he decided to come on social media to you know let his fans know how he's feeling saying that you know he only went there to perform as an artist and he was kind of surprised how he ended up in all you know those issues because you know all he only did was to go there to go perform for his fans and only to be put into this kind of situation and he's he's being thankful to his fans and all the people who showed him love during this period so that's what omale decided to come on social media to express so that's the current filler going around so i decided to let you guys know as you always know i'll be back with the next filler kindly hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed and if you're already subscribed i appreciate it i'll be back peace